the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, 1918, was the moment that marked the end of the war to end all wars, Armistice Day, now known to many countries by different names, Remembrance Day and Veterans Day among others. Each nation has a name for this day to remember those that served and paid the ultimate sacrifice in defense of their country. Even today, almost 100 years later, this tradition is still observed. I want to extend my thanks to those that have organized this event and to those soldiers participating with us. Your efforts demonstrate that no matter where we are and the mission we are given, we can take time to pause and reflect on the great sacrifices of our veterans, both past and present. At multinational base Terncot in the Erzgan province of Afghanistan, service members from four nations join together side by side to remember fallen comrades and reflect on the conflict they are now striving to end. With a modern Australian soldier serving his or her nation with great distinction in places like Afghanistan, East Timor and the Solomon Islands, seeking every day to be worthy of a title digger. This Veterans Day holds specific heartache to these service members, with the loss of three Australian soldiers and 11 others being wounded in the two weeks leading up to this day. Having seen firsthand the courage, initiative and teamwork being displayed by Australian Defence Force personnel serving here in Uruzgan every day, especially following the recent tragic events in Shawali Kot and the Mirabad Valley, there can be no doubt that the modern Australian soldier is more than living up to the legacy left to us by our forebears in World War I, lest we forget. But with these dedicated men and women, they will drive on to complete the course and continue the legacy of those that have fallen, lest we forget. Reporting from multinational base Terran Cot, I'm Army Sergeant Jason Procius.